the following question reads are which substance reacts with trichloroethane to give a chiral product so we need to first uh, figure out what is trichloroethene now ethene is uh, two carbon atoms and it's going to have a double bond trichloro means that they are going to be three cl's that would be attached to it and there's going to be hydrogen on one side now uh, we need to one by one uh, write down reactions what's going to happen when these things uh, react with it and figure out uh, whether a chiral, ca chiral carbon atom or a chiral product could be formed or not so a chiral product is a, a, is a carbon atom that is sp3 hybridized which makes four single bonds with four different groups and forms optical isomers so over here you can see a molecule that is chiral a carbon atom that's making four single bonds with four different groups and this carbon is capable of forming optical isomers there's going to be another molecule that's going to be an exact mirrored version of this molecule so we are looking for this type of carbon atom in the product the product must be chiral must contain a carbon atom that looks something like this so i'm going to start off with bromine uh, bromines when you, this is bromidation uh, the double bond is going to react with bromine and it's, what's going to happen is uh, that the double bond is going to break uh, that's an addition reaction electrophilic addition reaction would take place the double bond is going to break it's going to change into a single bond and the bromines are going to get added to this molecule so this is the product that I'm getting now, now uh, the next thing is I need to figure out whether any of the carbon atoms these two carbon atoms is any one of them chiral or not now if you look carefully on this carbon atom you notice that this is chiral so let's focus on this carbon atom over here uh, it's bonded to four different groups there's an H on one side a Cl on one side a Br on one side and this uh, entire group attached on this other side so this carbon atom is making four single bonds with four different groups so this is going to be chiral so the first option option a is going to be the correct option because it may, it's making a chiral carbon atom so and i'm going to show you uh, the three-dimensional diagram of this carbon atom as well because this carbon atom when it's making four single bonds it's going to be the shape is going to be so here's your tetrahedral uh, carbon atom with four different groups and it's going to be chiral uh, this carbon atom is going to form uh, two mirror images one mirror image so it's going to form optical isomers uh, so this is the correct option we can also uh, figure out uh, we can also try the other options as well and we can figure out uh, that no chiral product would be formed for example with the, the reaction with HCl let's try and think what would happen if the reaction is with HCl so here's your uh, trichloroethene molecule and this over here is your HCl molecule an addition reaction would happen in exactly the same way the double bond uh, 1H and a Cl and H would bond with uh, either of the carbon atom the Cl would bond with the other carbon atom so two different products would be possible H could be bonded with this carbon atom Cl could be bonded with this carbon atom or the opposite the Cl might be bonded with this carbon atom or the H might be bonded with this carbon atom so two different products are possible let's draw both of those products so these are my two products uh, and uh, the only the position the the H and Cl the positions are swapped in both cases now if you focus on each of the carbon atom this carbon atom you can clearly see that it is bonded to two Cl so it's definitely not chiral uh, the other carbon atom in this molecule is also bonded uh, to two Cl's so again uh, it has to be bonded to four different groups so that this is also not chiral let's look at this molecule over here uh, this carbon atom is bonded to three Cl's you can see three Cl so so you need you needed four different groups for it to be chiral so that's definitely not uh, the case over here and this carbon atom over here is again it's also bonded with two hydrogens so it's again not chiral you need four different groups so with HCl uh, nothing is going to happen no chiral product would be possible and let's also check uh, these two molecules as well NaCN and NaOH uh, these two they don't have an addition reaction with trichloroethene so if they don't have an addition reaction with trichloroethene this molecule over here uh, the double bond has to go but with NaOH and NaCN uh, the double bond would not go the Cl would get displaced uh, but there is no addition reaction so if the double bond does not go then no chiral product is possible because you needed four single bonds for a chiral carbon atom molecule so the correct option coming back to A is going to be bromine it's going to give you a chiral carbon atom